Good morning, good morning. This is Pixie. Doing another video. <coughs> hope you're hope you're keeping well. Uh, I think maybe things have slowed down with this uh, coronavirus. However, we don't know what the weather's like. How that impacts on the virus. Although the virus is limited to one species. You know, even if you can go and hide in a person. There's all this potentiality. Potentiality. But then again, there's a lot of people not bothered about things as well. So you've got people that are still working. Um, if they're working in the community, they're key workers. Um, and that's the main thing. I think mums need to club together. You know, as long as you're doing, if you're mixing and mingling, or if you're taking certain protocols and procedures, then that's fine. And then just regulate your home health. If there's a problem, take time out. You don't have to you know, plow on. Um, and assess. You don't want to put uh, people at high risk. Um, you don't put them in, in jeopardy. But you're also going to get you're going to get these key enemies as well. So you get key workers, people that are providing to the community, and you get people trying to look to take advantage of it or cause trouble, uh, disruption, and all these sorts of things. So you might have to close them down. You might have to say, look, you know, you want to have fun, go in your go in your fucking flat. <laughs> or whatever you need to say look I don't want you hanging around my house causing trouble or, or whatever the thing is you've got to be quite direct and then the reason why and they don't like it they don't like it but it might lead into um, civil unrest so that's the next thing to do you need to prepare yourself for things you need to prepare yourself for, to fight I mean it's okay you know if you live in America maybe you buy guns or whatever I mean if you're in the UK you can prepare yourself in certain ways Go sharpen some knives. <laughs> so you know, just to do different preparations. Actually, there is a store locally I could buy a, um, a crossbow. So I might buy a decent crossbow. Uh, just in case it all went. If it goes side sideways, so what happens if a, a new mutant variety of uh, Corona comes out? You know, they try to put a vaccine into someone. It actually makes it a lot worse. Like the Day of the Living Dead, but lots of weirdos. Or well, people get sick, start banging your door. So I don't know if I've already had it in the past, a corona or a version of it. It's just that I was respiratory um, sickness, and I felt like I was asthmatic. And at night was really difficult, but it could have been uh, to do a spider mite. However, that was a bloody hard work um, surviving surviving that at night because I was sometimes I gasp for air and I wake up and I go. <gasps> And so I thought, my God, something's really bad. So you need to keep your chest clear, and there's different ways. You know, I'm an advocate for a bit of spirits, and um, you can just you have a little bit of that, warm it up, whiskey, whatever, give it to anyone. <laughs> they used to give brandy and stuff to babies, so I mean, whatever, whatever you need to do. I'm not suggesting you get you get drunk, but I am suggesting that you can use it to clean airways and and so on. It's got a some medicinal qualities that are very good. Um, I used to have a friend, and when he used to go to London, he used to have trouble with the smog and he used to have uh, chest problems. So his grand used to give him some sort of like paraffin um, type medicine. And that used to hit the spot. Um, and there's things like Cole Robson with the, just the snake juice, he's talking about a lot of stuff that makes a lot of sense. You know, fasting, definitely. You could do an extended fast, see how, see how um, you could basically train yourself to deal with long periods of, um, of absenteeing, I guess, uh, absenteeing, abstaining maybe, abstaining from food, that's probably a better, better use of the word. Um, the problem is if people mass buy stuff, they need to develop the, the ability um, not to um, seek it out and um, access it. So, you know, because people can put on weight. If they do nothing at home and they've, got, they've stockpiled stuff, they're literally going to bop, they're going to box that binge, they're going to eat loads of stuff. So they've got to think rations. I'm rationing, I'm rationing the mind, I'm rationing the body. Rations, that's why they put rations, see? So if you're fasting and then you're doing rations, you're rationalising um, use. Binging is, is, is not going to do you any good, any favours and um, maximise your um, foods. You know, you've got a bag of rice, you can add a little bit of meat, you have to eat loads of meat. Mix it up with the rice, there's a meal. Look 
become a bit more um, bio-intuitive, I guess, to um, the needs of your body. Uh, cold baths, you know, throw a couple of cold baths in there a week. Don't, I mean, you've got, if we've got things saving water and all sorts of things, just keep it, keep thinking these, like, in these terms. So, um, you know, you can have a hot bath in the morning, leave the water in there, and when you come home, jump in it afterwards, and it'll be a cool bath before you go to bed. And then there we go, perfect. Uh, you just put some like, a bit of bicarbonate in it and it'll clean you up, make you nice and sparkly. Looking great, and, and also self-discipline. I've been watching sort of Lad's Army and stuff, and it's teaching me to think about things. So yeah, you don't want to turn something into a massive conflict. We just got to give give quite clear instructions. You need to do this, okay? It's not really. I'm, I'm not debating it. That's it, and then just go. Because social isolation, you're not going to want to get caught up in heated arguments. Just just make your point and get out of there. You know, there shouldn't be suddenly causing a lot of trouble. Some people saw it as a bit of a party, and that was a problem. I don't mind people having fun and enjoying themselves, but it's not if, if they think they're going to somehow take advantage of other people around them. I don't don't want a sort of field of chaos created by some idiot. I want to be more powerful in these, these circumstances. It's about accumulation of power, and that's quite important. Weaponising is probably important, just in case things do go pear-shaped. You might have somebody want to try to break into your property, steal your blooming dog rolls, whatever, and uh, <laughs> or it might be just a threat to your family. You have to at least isolate that threat and be effective. And I mean, I know jokes about sharpening your knives, but that's probably true. I've got some throwing knives at home that are blunt. I've got most of my knives are not exactly dangerous in my flat. Uh, I might just have a few things, and then you can use them for bush, and you can use them for all sorts of things. You know, I'm not going to use them to go around sort of threatening people, because that's not my style. Um, but I will be there to defend myself if something, if a very violent threat turns up. Um, and it's to, to neutralise, neutralise your enemy. Don't destroy... I've just seen something like a bloody pyramid. Why would there be a pyramid doing on the grass? How bizarre. Somebody's made some sort of teepee. Maybe it's top of a building. Let's say somebody's made a, some type of teepee. There we go, it's mine. It's my way, cheers. This one. Here we go. And you, yeah, I mean, basically, you've still got to do things. If you're not working, find productive ways to to add to the community. You might run a little group, might keep the Thai peoples over, maybe do something for the kids. You know, why haven't your kids got masks like these? You can make them. You can make that bloody material. And then they can go off and play football. Go up there and with your pairs of pair and play a role. So, look, I, I sort out a game of football. You know, teach skills and stuff, and then you can just have a good shower afterwards. And the only thing is remove the food out of the window, so there's no hand face touching, and it's pretty low risk. And that's it, really. I'll keep active, stay safe, and I will speak to you again. Bye.